guys. I wanted to do a tutorial using my new liquid lipstick from Smashbox. It's called the Always On Liquid Lipstick. It's the kind of color that you don't use uh, as much because because it's, it's it's so bold. It's like true brown. So I wanted to incorporate that to the video. Because, yes. So it's the perfect color. I wanted to use it and create a tutorial using this. So let's start. First I'm going to apply MAC Pro Longwear Concealer to my eyelids and prime my eyes like this. All over the lid and to the brow bone I like to use it to set it with powder. I see these two. This my Sigma F35 brush to do so. Like that. I am so I think I think I will now uh, put uh, some warmth to my crease, so I will use uh, maybe Chica D first, it's a good color, with my Morphe M441 brush. This will be my crease color. I because you can always clean the edges and I am no makeup artist, I just love doing makeup. So I am not being too like precise and following the rules. I just do makeup like I want to myself and how I have seen it works for me. Then I take my Sigma E25 brush and take, take maybe Aubergine Anastasia Beverly Hills this color right there and put it like on the outer V. I want to do something different. This is great color. Like this. It's like aubergine color, like Eggplant, or what would you say, call it? A little purple with a slight sheen. Uh, cherry cola. Not too purple. I have no idea what this look will be. <laughs> so let's see. It's always exciting. Getting a little bit of poppy from Makeup Geek. It's also one of my favorite like, colors that add warmth to your eyes. So like a slight dab, you get the perfect amount. And go over here to blend the edges a bit. And I'm going to make wing eyeliner today. So, I so the edges is good now. Maybe I have to add more color to my outer V's later. Color, because I want it to be intense. Intense. It's quite nice. Sigma E forty brush. I think this is it. Yes. This is clean brush, so I will go over the edges carefully. Like you see, it's the Makeup Geek Magic Act. I try something different combination today. I don't wet my brush, I just use it as a base, like this. Glitter afterwards. Maybe I to make it even more shiny. This is my base for that. Let's see how this goes. Use the new Stila one that I just got 
because that was the one I've, I've been waiting for. Smoldering Satin by Stila. And these are new, new to me, so that's why I want to try all the colors. I have no idea how this works. I just a hint. Like this. Then I try a little bit of dapping the edges. Then I'm moving on to my wing E65 brush and my Maybelline gel eyeliner. I will turn a little. Because I I'm still practicing this filming and trying to I just dab. I'm being just careful not to overdo it because this looks look doesn't need too bold eyeliner. So there was that mascara. Oh, this happened. Just got a quick coat of mascara. I moved to lashes, which will be the, the lower lashes, Lash in the Cities, which go well with this look. I will use my House of Lashes Lash Glue. I use my Velour Lashes Lash Tweezers as well, them in the middle. But these lashes are great for that. They are so like good shape that they will go go easily. You don't have to see much work applying them. They are just perfect. Like you see that it just went on. I will press them a little of course. But then I will use this here. These are the best lashes in the world. I love these. Like this. They are very beautiful lashes. I love them. They're like so fluttery and wispy and uh, they wing out on the edge so they look great with these looks. For my primer I will use my Chanel one. The best stuff so little but for someone but for me these. So I will brighten up my under eyes. One and a, one and a half pumps. It's almost out and I hate it because I love my favorite foundation. But the new one that came and changed the consistency isn't the same. People say it's not as good so you, I cannot buy more of this. I would like to uh, try the Dear Forever foundation next. My Sigma F82 brush, just like this. I use the Tarte Shape Tape, as always. This, the, this is what I've learned. I used too much when I cut it. Like this. I will like blend. Under eyes are very important. Different than usual. Like, be sure everything is blended. I like to blend like in here as well, it will open up the eyes using the same mixture, banana powder and MAC Emphasize.
where I put the concealer. I actually, I think I will use both these shades as a blush and as a bronzer. I take my Morphe R10 brush here. I am not being too precise. Wherever I want the sun to be like hitting my face. Give you this bronzy, bronzy like sun kissed glow in the camera, but it looks very nice. A little bit down on my neck. The middle one called Apricot, Apricot Blossom. Away from this look. Look. But this side is always easier to do. I put generously because RCMA powder to my under eyes. Too much. That will help to clean the edges. I have noticed this was my own self like thought thing. It will like make this edge look more soft, soft, not so like harsh with the blush. Covered. I will go with the edges like this. Then I start to do my lash line. E24 brush by Morphe. The aubergine shade and put it closely right here. Morphe um, M321 brush and blending the edges a little. I think I will use also the chickadee shade under there as well because I want a little warm. Yes, I, I think I will do that to create a little soft, softer under eyes, like this. Then I will go my with my gel eyeliner and uh, put it into my waterline here. See that it will give. I'm being careful not to like overdo it. I don't want to put too much in here. I want to create this cat eyed little cat eye like here and put it like this this is always so not flattering image but that's what I will do I will a little stretch I try to be careful with my under eyes not to stretch too much And this helps a little. I think it looks nice. Morphe M321 brush. A little like the black, I will smudge a little. Makeup Forever Starlit Powder in the shade, uh, in the color 13. E36 by Morphe. It's the perfect, I want this to pop very much like this then I will coat my lower la la lashes with mascara I actually do love this look very much perfect let's see when I apply the brown look at it a little while filming. Then I will um, take my Champagne Pop and Prosecco Pop. Morphe M501 brush. Fix Plus because I want the intensity like very much. This look is perfect for these golden highlighters. This is so perfect for this. I will go there and put... Uh, I want to see how it looks with this look. I want to be like glowy, then like here. For the sake of this video, I want to be glowy. I hope you can see it, but this creates this 
beautiful, beautiful sheen. So if you don't like intense, don't do this thing. I hope you see it. It's there. When I said it with setting spray, it will even more be like... I will put a little bit... Which I have been waiting for. Let's see what my husband thinks. We, d we in Finland usually don't use these kind of colors. We are afraid of everything. Everything like... Bold. This is the Smashbox True Grit. I will put it. Like a dream. Then I will set my face. So there it is, the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and the tutorial. I, th I think this turned out very, very nicely. It's like bold lip and bold eyes in the same, but it actually works very well. I love this look, I love this lip color, I hope I will like look at It's magical. So pretty color. I hope I, I have the guts to wear it more often. So okay, this was my brown lips tutorial with like bold eyes, like smoldering satin eyes, maybe I will call it. And I hope you enjoyed and uh, continue watching. I will uh, create more looks and hopefully soon get a new camera. I will. I am uh, filming with my phone now, so it's not the best quality yet. But I hope uh, soon I will get a good camera for filming. And uh, yeah, and this is the complete look. I hope you enjoyed watching and thank you very much for watching. We'll see you guys soon. Bye! Mm -hmm.